It's Jerob here, and this is Saturday School. It's like Sunday school, but on Saturday. Today we're going to talk about the story of Palm Sunday. Now, a lot of you know that this is just the Sunday we celebrate right before Easter Sunday, but do you know why? Well, today we're going to read the story, and you'll find out why. So we all know the story of how Jesus was born miraculously as a little baby in the town of Bethlehem and laid in a manger, and then he grew up. We know that he went all over after he started his ministry as an adult, and he healed people, and he touched people's lives, and he performed many miracles. He opened blind eyes. He taught stories and parables. He taught people about his Father God in heaven and how to live in his kingdom here on earth. But Jesus actually came for a much larger purpose than that. Although miracles and healings, those are all wonderful things and teaching us how to do them today, that's even better. But Jesus actually came for something much bigger, which is to save me and to save you, to save all of us from our sins and from the darkness that we were living in and to bring us into light and freedom and relationship with his Father God. Now, the Bible actually says in John 3, 16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus, and whoever believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. Isn't that great news? It might seem sad for a little while that Jesus had to die for our sins, but God, his father, did it out of love for us because he saw we were living in darkness and wanted to bring us to the light. And that's why we celebrate Easter. So let's talk about Palm Sunday. As Jesus was going all around teaching and healing and performing miracles, it came about the time that he knew he was about to die on the cross. And he knew he had to travel with his disciples to the city of Jerusalem in order for that to happen. So let's dive into the Bible and read the story of Palm Sunday. The morning dawned clear and bright. Jesus told his disciples, today we will enter Jerusalem. As he led them toward the city gates, an amazing thing happened. The crowd around Jesus became bigger and bigger and bigger. Hundreds and thousands of people poured out of the city to welcome him. Cheering and shouting, they called him the son of David. It was a welcome fit for a king. Just outside Jerusalem, there was a wooded hillside called the Mount of Olives. When Jesus reached this place, he sent two of his disciples to get a donkey. They brought it back to him. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Many of the people tore palm branches off the nearby trees. They waved the palms for Jesus. They saw Jesus as their king, one who might deliver them from the Romans. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, it seemed the whole city was shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Others yelled, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The religious leaders were not so happy though. You see, they said to each other, the world is following him now. They grew especially angry when the people shouted, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Make them stop calling you that, they shouted at Jesus. He turned and stared at them. If I did that, the very stones of Jerusalem would shout the same. You cannot stop them. Then Jesus looked out over Jerusalem. Tears ran down his face. He was crying for Jerusalem, the city of David, the city of God. Oh, if only you could believe what you see today, but you will become blind and your enemies will destroy you. Even as the people cheered him, Jesus knew they would soon betray him. He wept for the disaster their wrong choice would bring. He cried out of love for the very people who would soon scream for his death. You see, just a few days later, Jesus would die on the cross. And we'll talk about that a little bit next week, next Saturday at Saturday School. We'll talk about what Easter Sunday means and Jesus' death and amazing resurrection from the dead and the great hope and the great joy that that can bring to you and to your family. The people welcomed him into Jerusalem as a king, which is truly who he is. So as we get ready to celebrate Palm Sunday tomorrow, 
I would encourage each of you to take some time on your own or in your family to welcome Jesus into your hearts and into your home and celebrate him as the king that he is. If you have some paper, you could make some palm branches and wave them around. Or maybe if you go and you read this story on your own, you could wave your hands when the time comes in the story that the people wave the palm branches. There's a lot of different ways that we can welcome Jesus into our hearts this Easter season. But I would like to pray with you um, just real quickly as a family uh, that you, we would all be able to welcome Jesus into our hearts this season. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for your son Jesus. We thank you for his sacrifice for us. We thank you for the great hope that he brings. Jesus, we thank you that you came to earth, you died on the cross, and you raised from the dead so that you could bring us out of darkness and into light and into relationship with you. We thank you for the great hope that this story brings, God. And I pray for each family and each person who's watching this video right now that they would feel the great hope that your presence in our lives brings. We thank you and we praise you and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next Saturday for Saturday School.